Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done a recipe video and so I wanted to share this one with you since it's fall and um, the crock pot is one of my favorite things to use in the fall. So this is going to be a recipe for easy crock pot sausage and cheese tortellini. So first what you need is a pound of mild Italian sausage, 32 ounces of chicken broth, two cans of diced tomatoes, eight ounces of cream cheese, and then a 20 ounce um, bag of pork, frozen cheese tortellini. So the first thing you're going to do is take your sausage and brown it in a skillet. And while you're browning that, you want to take your cream cheese out and let it sit at room temperature so it starts to soften. So the sausage is browned and now we're going to take this and the tortellini and we're going to start to put everything in the crock pot. So I have the sausage over there and now I'm going to take my cans of tomato. You want to take the, keep the liquid in there. Yeah, and pour that on top. And then I'm going to pour all of my chicken broth in here too. So next you want to take your cream cheese and you're going to add it to the crock pot, but you want to add it in chunks. So I'm going to go ahead and just break this up. I broke it up into four chunks and then now what you want to do is just stir everything together. You want to stir it so everything is as evenly distributed as possible. Then you're going to put the cover on and cook it out low for four hours. And the next thing we're going to do is set a timer to stir it in two hours. Alright, so this has been cooking for an hour and a half. I stirred it at one hour and then put the lid back on and then let it cook for another hour. Oh, sorry, actually two hours now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> this cooked for two hours, then I took it off, stirred it, put it in for another hour and a half. And so it's been in for three and a half hours. And now I'm just going to stir this one more time and then I'm going to leave this off um, for another half hour to let the sauce thicken up and then it'll be ready to eat. It looks like after it's been open for half an hour, this sauce has kind of had a chance to thicken up a little bit. Then you're just going to go ahead and serve it with some um, cheese on top and you're good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you have any questions, you can leave them below. We'll see you guys next time.